back the winner, ma'am. Autumn Phillips joins the Queen in the royal box to watch the races during her fifth Ascot appearance after her stunning arrival with Prince Andrew in horse-drawn carriage. The Queen laughed and gestured excitedly during the final day of Ascot on Saturday, sharing some laughs with Autumn Phillips in the royal box. The royal, 92, who has attended every day of the sporting festival, arrived at the iconic sporting event in spectacular style wearing an eye-catching aquamarine skirt suit and feather-plumed hat. And she enjoyed her fifth day in a row at her favorite equestrian event of the year, chuckling with her eldest grandchild's wife Mrs. Phillips in the stunning royal enclosure bedecked with bright pink flowers. Earlier the head of state joined her son Prince Andrew, Duke of York, in the royal procession at the Berkshire-based race course, as she officially opened the fifth day of racing by leading the royal procession at the course, Princess Anne's son, Peter Phillips, was pictured tipping his hat to the monarch as he stood with his wife, Autumn, by his side. The Queen wore an Angela Kelly ensemble, a grass-green wool coat worn with a dress embroidered with summer flowers and a matching hat as she was also joined by Lady Sarah Chatto, daughter of Princess Margaret. Pims was flowing as spectators got the day off to a stylish start by sipping sparkling white wine and elegant hats as they awaited the monarch. The Queen has attended every day of the racing, with other royals turning out among the 300,000 fans throughout the week. Sarah, Duchess of York was granted a rare privilege earlier this week when she joined the Queen in her box at Royal Ascot, and even shared a joke. The former wife of the Duke of York was photographed chatting with the Queen at one of the social and sporting events of the year. Just over a month ago Sarah joined the wedding congregation that saw the Duke and Duchess of Sussex marry at Windsor Castle's St. George's Hall. Her invitation to the royal box appeared to signal that the Duchess, once caught in a tabloid newspaper sting accepting money for access to her former husband, had been permanently welcomed back into royal circles. But Sarah did not make it into the carriage procession which, with the Queen in the lead coach, signals the start of each day at Royal Ascot. As the Queen passed by the Duchess was seen curtsying and to aid her balance she held on to the hand of her daughter Princess Beatrice, next to them doffing his top hat was Andrew. Beatrice wore a dress by the fold and a Sarah Kant hat while her mother was dressed in a roll in Murray outfit and a hat by Philip Tracy. Today racegoers were quids and after picking the right color of the Queen's hat for the fourth day running, a feat which left the bookies cursing their bad luck. There is some £7.3 million up for grabs at this year's races, making it a bumper year, and the royals have been taking part in the betting fun, despite the Countess of Wessex, losing out earlier in the week when three of her horses failed to come in. William Hill spokesman Rupert Adams said, You have to take your hat off to punters. We have never had such a bad run in the Queen's hat betting. Former England footballer Michael Owen was among the famous faces invited to present prizes to the winning jockeys, owners and trainers. Outrageous hats were all the rage at Royal Ascot as punters gambling on the color of the Queen's hat correctly guessed green. Racegoers were quids and after picking the right color for the fourth day running, a feat which left the bookies cursing their bad luck. Among the creative hats seen at the Berkshire course was a woman wearing a Spitfire and another who had a large floral display surrounded by a star. Brilliant sunshine had the Royal Ascot crowds enjoying the summer weather as much as the racing, which is a highlight of the Queen's year. The head of state wore an Angela Kelly ensemble, a grass-green wool coat worn with a dress embroidered with summer flowers and a matching hat. William Hill spokesman Rupert Adams said, you have to take your hat off to punters. We have never had such a bad run in the Queen's hat betting. Princess Beatrice, wearing a dress by the fold and a Sarah Kant hat, was joined at the event by her mother Sarah, Duchess of York who wore a Roland Murray outfit and a hat by Philip Tracy. Former England footballer Michael Owen was among the famous faces invited to present prizes to the winning jockeys owners and trainers. Racegoers flanked by Union Jacks have descended on the course in Berkshire to enjoy horse racing's most stylish event in heatwave conditions. Visitors to the Royal and Queen Anne enclosures have to abide by a strict dress code, which does not allow bare midriffs or strapless dresses, but for guests in the Windsor and other enclosures the rules are more relaxed. Yesterday plenty of spectators took the opportunity to flash the flesh in daring hemlines and plunging dresses. But today took a more elegant turn, 
with long summer dresses favored. Up to 300,000 people descended on the event over the course of five days and naturally the stylish event is a magnet for celebrities, with today predicted to be a star-studded occasion. So far this week, the iconic course has hosted stars including athlete Sir Mo Farah, Declan Donnelly, Alexandra Burke, as well as a host of reality TV names from Georgia Toffolo to Olivia Atwood with Kelly Brook today spotted in a hat complete with netting veil. Kelly was looking far more demure than usual for the final day of the sporting event as she joined boyfriend Jeremy Parisi, sheathing her hourglass curves yet still ensuring she'd stand out in a crowd. The 38-year-old model dazzled in a bow-adorned midi, clinging to her sensational figure. The cream gown featured a split along the back to offer a glimpse of her tanned and toned pins. The garment was adorned with scarlet piping along the sleeves and an oversized bow, which complemented her crimson heels and clutch bag. Kelly finished off the look with a cherry red fascinator adorned with lace and featuring floral embellishment. And as she is always firm fixture at the glitziest soirees in town. It came as no surprise to see Dame Helen Mirren made an appearance for the final day of Royal Ascot, oozing glamour in a floral ensemble. The 72-year-old actress looked sensational for the sporting event based in Berkshire as she posed for pictures in front of a floral wall inside the race course. Looking elegant yet stylish, the Winchester actress donned a floral midi dress with a pussy bow neckline and black sash that aided in showing off her slender waist. The radiant blonde teamed the garment with a baby pink fascinator that was adorned with an oversized flower intricately woven out of mesh and tulle. Her baby pink accessories also extended to her footwear, with the Oscar-winning actress opting for a pair of pastel heels. 